What's up, Celine? I'm John Fike here with Adam Doubling. In this episode, we take a look at Adorama, the cosmetology program, and some wild things going on in this awesome episode of SHS Today. The Science Olympiad team secured a first place victory at the regional tournament on March 16th. This is the fifth consecutive team championship. The state tournament will be held on April 27th at Michigan State University. Good luck, Selene Science Olympiad. Speaking of competition, the Selene's Automotive Technology Program, with help from the Machine and Welding Program, spent the past couple of months building a pedal car for the Detroit Autorama Show. We go to David for more information. Hello Celine, I'm David Webbin and I'm here at Autorama. We have the pedal car competition, let's go check it out. High schools from across the state entered in the Autorama pedal car challenge to see who could build the best looking pedal car. Over the past two months, students from the Southwest Washington Consortium have been working on a pedal car that was donated by Summit Racing. Tyler Bauer, Tyler Rose, and Justin Sly were the main contributors towards the project. One of the only rules was that after all the modifications, the car still had to be drivable. After the cars were judged, they were going to be auctioned off and the money would be given back to the program. First place went out to Oakland School's Technical Center, Fort and Area Schools received second place, and third place went to Warren Career Preparation Center. Celine chose to keep their pedal car and unfortunately did not place, although they were still the crowd favorite. Well, Celine, that wraps it up here at the Cobo Center. I'm David Webbin. Back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, David. For all students interested in some more college information, a representative from the Washington Community College will be meeting with students on March 26th during third hour in the library. Would you like to be a licensed hairstylist, manicurist, or makeup artist by the time you graduate high school? If so, the South and West Washington Consortium's Cosmetology Program is for you. You will receive high school credits while attending, and it is not too late to apply. It is open to all sophomores and juniors, and you should see your counselor for an application if you are interested. Earlier, we talked about the Automotive, Welding, and Machine Tool Collaborative Project. Lexi went to go look at another collaborative project where the wild things are being created by the first graders at Pleasant Ridge. Hey Celine, I'm Lexi Dawson reporting for SHS Today. Mrs. Koppelman and Mr. Rodriguez teamed up with classes from Pleasant Ridge who created their own wild things. I talked to Mrs. Koppelman to get more information. So I got the idea at the State Art Conference in October and the idea was to have elementary students, first graders, uh, after being read to the story Where the Wild Things Are, they created drawings of wild things and then my high school Pottery 1 and Pottery 2 students have created uh, three-dimensional wild things based on the drawings from the first graders. My students will start to paint them based on the drawings and the colors and then we're going to put them together in a packaging. Mr. Rodriguez's VIT students have created the graphic design for the packaging. We'll assemble everything together and hopefully by the beginning of March we will give back to the first graders their wild things. There you have it, another great project bringing many skills together. Back to you in the studio. Thanks Lexi. Now let's send it over to Emily for our week's sports and weather. Hey Hornets, I'm Emily White here with a recap on winter sports and your weekend weather. The girls varsity basketball team ended a very successful season with a record of 14-9 and a district championship 47-41 win against Bedford. The ladies moved on to the regional tournament but lost in a close battle against Woodhaven 60-58. The boys basketball team finished their season 9-11 with a district loss against Milan. The bowling team sent junior Sydney Ohl to this year's state meet to close out the season for the Hornets. The Hornet hockey team finished their season 8-15-2. The team lost in their postseason game to Pinckney with a score of 5-3 to 
where Michael Sav Savage led the Hornets with two goals. Our competitive cheer team wrapped up its season with a ninth place finish at the regional tournament. This is the second consecutive year that the cheer team has advanced to the regional tournament. The gymnastics team had a very successful season in which they won all of their conference meets and lost only one non-conference meet. Erica Myers, Kelsey Flanagan, and Kelsey, Erica Tapia all represented the Hornets at the state meet in Plymouth on March 9th. Seniors Taylor Tickner, Nate O'Sullivan, and Alex Cornelius of our wrestling team advanced to the state meet this year. Taylor and Nate placed sixth in their respective weight class, which was good enough to place each of them on this year's Division I All-State Wrestling Team. The highlight of this winter season came from the boys swim and dive team. The team had a fantastic showing at the state meet where they set multiple records, including a national public school record for the 200 medley relay with a time of 1.30.01 and came away with their fourth consecutive state title. The national record setting relay team consisted of Michael Bundes, Josh Ehrman, David Bolin and Adam Whitener. Sam Blair of the dive team came away with second place in the diving portion of the meet. Congratulations to the boys swim and dive team and the rest of our Hornets for a tremendous showing during the winter sports season. With the end of winter sports comes the beginning of spring sports and we officially welcomed in the new season with tryouts last week. I certainly hope with spring sports starting up spring weather will too. For this weekend we get a little bit warmer but we are still looking at some chilly numbers. Today we will see a high of 38 and a low of 23. Saturday we get a bit warmer with a high of 40 and a low of 28. Sunday we are back to the 30s with a high of 36 and a low of 29. You've got spring break coming up after next week, Hornets, so hang in there with the chilly weather just a little bit longer. Back to you guys at the news desk. Thanks, Emily. On a programming note, SHS Today will be aired next Thursday due to the fact that we don't have school Friday. Have a great week in Hornets. I'm Jonathan Flake. And I'm Adam Dublin. Stay safe, Hornets.